talking about today is this issue of science. And Steven Weinberg, who teaches at UT Austin, he's won a Nobel Prize in physics. He's an atheist. And here's what he says. I personally feel that the teaching of modern science is corrosive of religious belief, and I'm all for that. If scientists can destroy the influence of religion on young people, then I think it may be the most important contribution that we can make. So this guy's a professor, and he thinks science actually points away from what we would call religion or the belief in God, and he thinks that's very important to do. I actually think the ex exact opposite is true, that science properly understood actually points to God, but Weinberg says no, and he says this points to atheism. And as you know, we've been going through a series of these things that atheists say point to atheism, like reason, science, evolution, morality, and evil, yet are these really arguments for atheism? No, they're not arguments for atheism because they're stolen from God himself. And that's the whole thesis of the book, Stealing from God. All of these arguments or things that atheists say point to atheism wouldn't exist unless God existed. So they're stealing from God to argue against him. And tonight, this is probably my favorite out of all these subjects, is this issue of science because science is supreme in our society now, right? The scientists are the new priests. They dispense truth to the public, and you can't go against what a scientist says, can you? You're an idiot, a moron if you do. Scientists are the new priests that dispense truth, and if you try and question the scientific orthodoxy, you will be labeled as a heretic. You might even lose your job if you're a professor or somebody who... Uh, is in a realm, an academic realm. If you start talking about maybe there's intelligence out there, you're going to be in deep trouble. And I document this, by the way, in the book. All right, so let's dive into this a little bit. And here's what we're going to try and do tonight. Uh, and all the details are in the book. But the first thing we're going to talk about is what is science? Because if we're going to talk about science, we ought to define what we mean, right? Now, it's notoriously difficult to actually give a definition of science that everybody agrees with. So I'm going to give you a very broad definition. Secondly, why does science need God? Because that's my contention, that you wouldn't even be able to do science unless God existed. Science couldn't exist unless God existed because the attributes of reality that we need to do science wouldn't exist unless God existed. And then finally, why do atheists get origins wrong? And what I mean by origins are the origin of the universe, the origin of life, and the origin of subsequent life. Those are the big three things that Christians and atheists argue over. Where did the universe come from? Where did life come from? Where did subsequent life forms come from? And I say they're getting it wrong. Now, why am I saying that? That's what we're going to get into. All right, let's start here at point one. What is science? 